financial inclusion is basically to have expand access to financial services, reliable and safe financial services for everybody. Globally, there is a seven percentage point gap between w women and men in access to financial inclusion, while the number of people with bank accounts has increased dramatically between 2011 and 2014. The gap between men and women has not budged. If you want financial inclusion for all, you will really have to target women. Data is uh, critical for financial inclusion because data can tell you who, who banks are reaching as clients and who they are not reaching. So we are hoping that having good sex disaggregated data, banks will realize that they're missing a huge market. Data will help the banks uh, realize the products that women need and want. The country that I, th I think is the most notable in terms of using this kind of data for financial inclusion is the government of Chile. Since 2011, they have been collecting sex disaggregated data at a country level. All banks provide the government with this data. It's sex disaggregated so you can see trends over time. With this data, Chile has realized first that women like savings a lot, so they have designed saving products for women. Second, and equally importantly, more recently, they realized that they were, banks were charging high, higher interest rates to women than to men for similar types of loans. So bank regulators have uh, presented this kind of data to banks, and banks are changing their practices. For women themselves, obviously, for instance, for a woman that has a micro-enterprise or a small and medium enterprise, one of the big constraints that they have is access to capital. So having financial inclusion, she will be able to grow her businesses. We all know that you know, when women increase their income, that has a beneficial effect on the family, on family welfare and well-being. It will also, over time, decrease poverty decrease inequality and also foster economic growth. So there are benefits for society, there are benefits for the individual and there are benefits for families.